Hey friends, Ray Lutz here in Detroit, Michigan. It's a pretty seriously, uh, you know, difficult temperature to be in, especially today we were outside with the Jill Stein campaign. What I have here is a spreadsheet. Um, essentially what I did was I took the figures from the actual Secretary of State's office, and I'll show you their document here really quick. This is the official results document from the Secretary of State's office. And uh, you can see here, it shows uh, the number of precincts statewide, uh, 7,000, those are, those are the total number. The number um, started, here's the number of completed, the number counted, here's a number not countable, about 10%. So I took these numbers, including the actual recounted numbers here for Trump, which you see is 956,000. And for Clinton, 1,031,000. So I put that into a spreadsheet. Let me just show you that. So it can calculate some other numbers. And you see those same numbers replicated here. We have Trump, 958, Clinton, 1031. And both of them together, I'm, all, I'm not considering all of the other candidates in this, just Clinton and Trump. And the margin of victory for Clinton would have been 74,000 or 3.75%. Now these are the actual hand counted ballots in those precincts where they actually did count them. They recounted 2,725 precincts. Um, that's 35% of the total number of precincts, but number of ballots in those precincts was 43%, which that's a pretty good, um, you know, that's a pretty good sample. For the main bottom line here is, is that at the end of the day, if they completed this, uh, we estimate that they would have about 480,000 ballots uncountable. And by those numbers, you see that Clinton was, is ahead and the ballot set uh, and the precincts where they're actually recounting them. And it's the apparently the unrecountable precincts where, where uh, Trump has that those additional numbers. Now, how, how do you get an unrecountable precinct? It's actually very easy. Let's say you want to fix a precinct. In the computer, you can change the numbers. You want to make sure it doesn't get recounted. Just have one voter go in and uh, get a ballot, but not not put it in. Or have a worker add another ballot into the ballot box, an extra blank ballot. That would throw it off, and then it would be called, you know, unrecountable, and they would not count it at all. So any difference in the numbers, and they decide well, we're not going to count that at all. These are actually the precincts that they should count more. Uh, so we think that this is big news that uh, Hillary Clinton is winning in the recount. For some reason, this information is not being told anywhere. Even the Stein campaign has not been saying this. I tried to talk to her today. Uh, I did talk to her today, and I, I was telling her, look, you need to promote this idea that the numbers are reversing here. Uh, so we'll see what happens long term. Now, I've got some other news I'd like to say. Uh, in Wisconsin, uh, one of my fellow gadflies uh, up there, John Brakey, and what they've discovered is that the, the scanning equipment that they use has cell phone, mobile phone connectivity, and they have SIM cards inside the scanners such that they can be accessed to and from via the mobile network. So guess what? You have scanners that can that can be uh, easily hacked from any location, and they say, "Oh, it's our our system is so secure. We have uh, it's not connected to the internet." Uh, baloney! Uh, these scanners that are distributed to the precinct uh, may not be visibly connected, but they have cell phone cards in them, SIM cards, so that they can be connected to, directly to the internet. In Wisconsin. It's even worse because they don't even do a hand count. They run them back through the same scanners, which will 
have the same defects. Uh, now, uh, we're done here. Uh, the Stallion campaign and their attorneys doesn't have, they don't have any appetite for anything else. Now, why was this shut down in Michigan? Remember, we only got done, as you just saw, um, 39%, okay, were processed. Only 35% were actually counted, but they pulled the plug. They said it's because Jill Stein does not have standing. Why? Because she's not an aggrieved uh, person. They pulled the plug. Why did it happen? Michigan is a complete mess. They were going to wind up with a half million uncountable ballots that were not included in the count at the end. The difference between Trump and Hillary is only 11,000, official. What we're seeing here, though, is Clinton is up 75,000 so far in the hand-counted precincts. So this was turning out to be a complete mess, blowing up in their face, and so Michigan had to pull the plug. We're going to have to carry this into the domain of uh, public outcry. Um, and maybe the Obama investigation, although I, I don't have much confidence that's actually going to be uh, looking into these details. But it might because we've already had people who are energized now. Uh, some people I hear there's a thing called um, debugging. Uh, politics uh, in San Francisco that's going on uh, at GitHub uh, headquarters and, and near Google and so there's some people with high-tech experience that are interested in investigating um, this sort of a cyber crime going on and I'm not kidding this is cyber crime this is election theft this is uh, the worst that you can imagine and it's happened in this election uh, Clinton is not up for doing anything. She, she told her workers or volunteers here, you can sit there and observe, but I don't want you protesting anything whatsoever. And it goes completely against what they've been saying uh, in news media and so forth, that it, there's no connection to the Internet. It's, it's safe. It's behind these, these walls. All right. These things are out there, and they can be easily gotten to in both directions via cell phone network. This was such a mess, is such a mess in Michigan. It's going the opposite way that they said that, it, that, they, that they advertised that it did. And had they finished the recount, they, first of all, the way they were doing it, they would have a half a million ballots not recounted to, at all. And without, if you leave those out, that's the key part. This is the Clinton number, one million thirty-one thousand. This is the Trump number, 956,000. These are the actual votes on the hand-counted precincts. Clinton's winning by 3.75%. The official result is Trump wins by nearly 11%. We would have to have the non-counted precincts be overwhelmingly for Trump for that to happen. You could do that by hacking the central tabulator and then having somebody go into the precinct and put an extra ballot in or just leave without depositing the ballot, sign in and leave. And that way the precinct is hacked, hackable, and they can put in as many votes as they want into it for apparently for Trump because the ones that they've recounted are tipping toward Hillary by a wide margin. And there's no way to explain this except for uh, the idea that the unrecountables, the unrecounted precincts, are the ones that were probably fixed. So uh, we got, uh, this is the kind of thing where, look, I didn't know what I would find when I came here. I knew that I'm good at finding stuff, and then I get a chance, cause it's just because I've seen it a, a few times, and I can I kind of know what to look for. And I showed up here. First time I heard what they were planning to do, that they were going to throw out a precinct and make it unrecountable, no one else raised their eyebrows. The media didn't even pay attention to that until I told them, look, this unrecountable precinct is going to be an issue. I said, I estimate maybe fifty to 80,000 ballots not recounted at the end. What would we end up with? Nearly half a million. 
Just think about what a slap in the face that is for the officials who are trying to show that they're, they're, they're doing a good job with their recount. So they had to pull the plug. They had to pull the plug and blame it on Jill Stein and then make sure her lawyers were not going to go take it any further. And that's where we are right now. We've got a lot of learning that we did here at this. I hope that the new initiative that Obama has been talking about, which is this, this investigation, is not going to stop with just the so-called Russian hacking. And let's face it, if you're a good hacker, you're going to go through some remote server somewhere that you can take over with a vulnerability that they have vast databases of servers that can be taken over and you're going to launch your attacks from there so it looks like it's from Russia. Trump is right about this. You can't believe that they know where it came from. The hackers are pretty damn good and they're going not they're going to be covering their tracks. And to, the idea that everybody agrees on it. When I hear that, I hear cover up. Everybody agrees on this. Cover up because there may be something else that they're really not letting out of the bag. So I hope that the Obama investigation is not yet another cover-up, that they will delve into these other areas that really need investigation. That's my hope. I've seen it before, though. These, cover, these investigations are usually started so that everybody says, oh, it's being investigated. We don't have to worry about it, so let's all just be calm. And actually what we should be thinking is, this is another cover-up. They're just trying to make us calm down because this is a, we're going to put this to bed by June, January 20th. You basically don't believe a word of it. I, I will be happy if they do some more investigation, but I, I'm really not holding my breath. I hope that we do get some more inspiration of these people in like the GitHub uh, HQ over there in San Francisco that we start to put our thinking caps on and think about how we can get this mess under control. So this is Ray Lutz signing out from Detroit, Michigan. Uh, we got a lot of work to do, folks. Bye-bye.